Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Jurassic World toy review on two action figures or toys. Uh, we're looking at the Allosaurus and the Triceratops from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Be sure to pick these up, you can get them at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I did pick these up at retail, but they are available at Big Bad Toy Store as well. Uh, the Allosaurus right over here looks very very cool. And then you can see the Triceratops. And you can push the button, make the functions happen. Then you get Owen in blue right there. And then you can see this whole cage thing going on with the side. I like that. And then on the back, you can see the functionality of each of these figures or toys. And then you can see some other dinos right over there. And then you get Jurassic World right there on the side. And then there's not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's the Allosaurus and the Triceratops out of the packaging. And again, with these Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys, I want to keep calling them figures, but they are toys. They look really good. Uh, I'm already seeing a lot of paint detail over here that pleases me and we get a fair amount of articulation Not a ton, but I still had fun posing them around and taking some pictures So let's get a closer look at that Allosaurus and then we'll get a closer look at the Triceratops So I have something I have to get off my chest and I know I'm kind of alone on this one But when I was a kid I always thought the Allosaurus made me think of Al Bundy from Married with Children I know that's a strange connection over there, but because of the name Al and yeah the Allosaurus I, I I know it's silly, it's stupid, but yeah, I was pretty young at the time. But anyway, always been a fan of dinos. Anyway, I like the paint apps on this. It looks good, man. Nice teeth right over here, too. This looks really neat how the crest has a little bit of pink right over there. I like how the eye looks. And I think this is a cool flesh tone for this dino. You know, I think it works having this yellow camo kind of look going on right here. We don't really know what skin color it actually had. So, you know, why not be creative with it? So I think that's cool. Really like how the tail came out. Nice scales throughout on this. We get some slashes right there. Even some slashes right here. So I did complain about a lack of dino damage, but it looks like we are getting some dino damage on these. You know, it's just not the dino damage I remember. Not exactly the same, right? You know, very different. Uh, a gripe I have with this is this uh, gray tongue right here. I'm not really happy about that just being gray. I don't know. It would have been cool to, to see a red tongue, but who knows what color their tongues were, right? Then there's looking at the other side, and we get some red on the inside right over here. So that's pretty nifty. He has the three fingers. It would have been cool to see some black paint right there for the nails. And it's pretty soft material. You don't have to worry about like really scratching anything with him. So yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. And then there's toes. Toes are painted nice and black. I like that. Very much looks like ostrich feet. I think as it should. So that's pretty awesome. No peg holes at the bottom or anything like that. You just get a little, you know, I don't know, movement signal or sign right there. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean. Get a Jurassic Park logo down there at the bottom. There's a culito and a speaker and everything. So this guy does have a function or, or she has a function. Sorry, they're supposed to all be female. But anyway, you can push down this button right here and we get some sound. All right. Oh, some stomping. That's four sounds already. That's the first one right there. Okay, so we get four sounds. Yeah, I think it's just four sounds that we get with this. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And you can just keep pushing the button up and down. And aside from pushing the button, we also get some other articulation right here. You can move the arms outward that far, so that's kind of neat. And they will move down. They move back that much, and you can rotate them forward that much. Uh, the legs move outward that far, and I did not show that on the Carnotaurus, that you can move the legs outward on the Carnotaurus too. Sorry about that little mistake. And you can do a full 360 with each of the legs too, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of a funny pose. That looks weird. <laughs> And then here's looking at the Triceratops head sculpt, and I love it. I don't know why I'm so impressed by this, but I absolutely love this Triceratops. This is so cool. Uh, I just really dig it. I love this paint fading right over here on the frill. That's awesome. Little details right here of white paint on each of these tiny little spikes and on the horns right here on the front and on the nose. The beak looks really good. I really like that they chose a different paint color for the beak than the horns. You can see some textured lines in there and everything. Same thing with the beak right here. 
here. The eyes look pretty good. We get this little bit of shading going around this eye. And same thing with the other side right over there. So I think that is pretty nifty. I'm very happy with the way this came out. And I like how the pink gets just a little on the sloppy side. I, I think it's intentional, you know, because you can see some brown right here in these divots. So I think that's pretty great, man. I'm very pleased with that. That looks really cool. Nicely sculpted scales throughout on this thing. You get this pattern coming across the top right over there. That looks really good. And it fades into a lighter kind of yellow color from the brown. So that's pretty nifty. And then uh, no toenails painted. I always got to check to see if the toenails are painted right there, even on the dinos. But yeah, so no toenails painted. Eh, minor, minor gripe. And the back tail right here. The back tail, like there's a front tail. What's wrong with you, Shardimus? But we get some nice wrinkles right over here too, so that's pretty cool. I dig that. And then you can see the speaker underneath right over there. And then again, we get the little funny logo and then the Jurassic Park logo. Yeah, so pretty nifty looking Triceratops. Uh, I like it, yeah. And I like how there's these little speckles of darker brown throughout too. Kind of tricky to pick up, but yeah, they're just, you know, just speckled throughout. I don't know, it makes it look a little dirty. But anyway, for the function, you can push down right here. And that's sound number one. Sound number two. I like that sound number three is like rampaging through some trees. And then sound number four is a shorter roar. So, yeah, so that is very cool. I like that. And you can just, you know, have them just burn it up and down. You know, I'm posing action figures every day. And then for the articulation, I do find myself being able to turn the head side to side a bit over here. It just doesn't want to stay. But, oops, yeah, you can kind of do it. Like, if I have it leaning against the Allosaurus or another dinosaur, I can't make that happen where the head could lean against it and it could, you know, kind of pivot side to side like that. You know, it's not a real joint or anything, but, I don't know, I think it's cool that there's a little bit of extra movement over there. And it can turn like this, too, if you wanted to do something like that. So, uh, the arms or the legs in the very front can move outward just a little bit, as you can see right here, and they move inward. And you can rotate them back that much and forward, outward, just that far. And then same thing with the legs in the back, they move out just a little bit, you can move them in, and rotate a full 360 degrees. Now to measure out the length of these dinos, you can see the Allosaurus from nose to tail is at about 13 inches across, and the Triceratops is close to about 11 and a half inches across. And measuring the height of each of these, uh, it looks like Allosaurus is around five to five and a half inches tall, and about four and a half to five inches tall for the Triceratops. And then here's the Allosaurus and Triceratops alongside the Stegosaurus and the Carnotaurus, which I've already reviewed, and I think these scale fairly well together, I guess. I don't know exactly how large each of these dinos are supposed to be, but hey, they look cool. And here's the Allosaurus and Triceratops next to the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, and these don't really scale well together unless they're like babies or something. I always like having Triceratops versus a T-Rex, and yeah, you'd have to get that smaller T-Rex. I, I can't remember the exact name of it, but yeah, there's the Super Colossal one, which I haven't reviewed yet, stay tuned, but yeah, there's an even smaller T-Rex that I think goes to scale with this Triceratops, but I don't have it. And then comparing this Allosaurus and Triceratops next to your average 6 inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, you two dinos look like you want to race. I want to join the race. Hold on one second. Alright, let's do this! So again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos, especially those of you that watch the videos from the beginning to the end. I know I say it a lot, but it really does help the YouTube channel a lot. Watch time retention is very important for this YouTube channel, as well as when you hit that like button, leave your comments down below, as well as hit that subscribe button, as well as hitting that notification bell if you have not already. I like these dinos. I know they're kids' toys and everything, but I am having fun with them. I really like posing them around. I could have them fighting each other. They have these uh, functions and everything with the sounds and stuff and the head bobbing and all that, so I really enjoy these. I think they're a lot of fun, and I think they have a really good price point to them, too. These things are not very expensive, and we're getting uh, more or less collector quality paint detail and sculpting with these. Thus, I am giving them a sud rating of it's not so bad. And I'm curious to know what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see a photo gallery of images, they should be over at toynewseye.com as well as shardimusprime.net. And do not forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!
Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.